We so today we are talking about umbrellas. No, we're talking about soft boxes. Not just this small one. I was thinking is like what kind of soft box is perfect size for traveling? A small one, a big one, an umbrella, lantern, so many things. And the reason why is I bought the Sion Molus X100, which is so light. So basically what you can do, you have this bones mount here or bones, bones, bones mount. <laughs> and when you edit, you can put a softbox in, not the small one. Um, this is, I don't know what this is, 20, 25 centimeters or less 20 centimeters. You have this softbox you could use. Another option is you have this reflector on it. And what I bought was like this little cup, which you can put over here. So you have one diffusion, right? You can also use the small one. You can add this on top as well. I have two other soft boxes. As you can see, this is a 65 centimeters. I had a 45, but it was too small for me because I was thinking I have this one. So better to get the 65 centimeters. Parabolic is when the soft boxes are like more deeper. Um, if you have a huge one, it's super heavy. It's better to have them smaller. This one, I just choose that one because it's like 500 grams, which is super light. And then this is the Godox. Let me come closer. This is the Godox, 95 millimeters, centimeters. And it's also with the bronze um, mount. So I could add this here, but this thing is like 1.2 kilos. And this is way too heavy for me. It's not heavy, it's light, but you have to unbuild and the whole process takes so long. So I wanted to update this one to actually first this one, but I was like, no, this is a joke. This is cool, but it's lighting my face up and the background too much. Similar to the umbrella, what I have right now, because I have to show you the lights. So that's why I have this setup. And another thing is this one. It is small, as I say, like it's just 500 grams. The good thing is like you can unmount this very quickly. You put it in your backpack or then you bring it back and it is light. It's very transportable. With this light, 500 grams, the whole package. Plus this one, it's say one and a half kilos so for a light setup, plus the light stand. So I want always to travel super light. So in this video, I wanna show you if it's a good idea to just use the small one, or should you get the 65 centimeter softbox, or should you get the 95 centimeters Godox softbox, which are all good, to be honest. They have their all their fields you should use. So what I wanna do right now, I have a big key light here, which is from GVM, which is also a cheap light. It's um, 80 watt, which is plastic, I think. And I was traveling with that one, but it's still, it's like quite like big. You have like a case like this for all the stuff. And I want to get even lighter. So when CN came out with this small light, the Molus X100 with 100 watt, I was like, holy moly, this is small and so easy to travel with them. Here, for example, I show you quickly. Um, you change this and then you can put the softbox on and that's all, you're done. So I will show you now, I will set up the different softboxes right now. You see, this is a different from the umbrella and now I will use this light to give me the key light from here, 45 degree angle using the umbrella, the small softbox going to the bigger one. So you see the different and then I tell you which one I would recommend you could buy and which is a good choice for traveling, for your home office or whatever you wanna do with the lights, anything you can do. Oh, uh, first we're setting. First we're setting up the umbrella. So this is how it looks right now with the light. So now I changed the whole light system and you will see how it looks like with the umbrella. Oh, okay. We have the umbrella on it. And what I noticed is like, it's so quiet because this little fan in the background, it is making not noise. The one before, the GVM, always the fan is spinning and it's like this and it makes me sometimes get nuts. But this one is so silent, it's amazing. And the umbrella, you see, it's lighting up everything. It shows right now what I don't like on these lights is with 1%, I'm on 1% and the thing 
makes everything bright. It's good outdoor, so I need to have more diffusion, more like little soft boxes in the middle, so the light is more softened and lose more power. This soft box, the small one, which I want to do next, has only one layer. On the other ones, they have like two layers. There's one here and one here, so it makes the light even softer. You see it is softer. It's not so, if I would do just like the reflector, it's like really hard light. Uh, we'll maybe change this. The difference between both of them, they are no different. That's why I use only this one right now, because this is a reflector, here's a reflector, and then you have one diffusion here and the grid. The grid at the end makes it even more focused on my face. It's not blending so much like this right now. You will see the difference. And the umbrella is brighten up everything. And with that one, it's more focused just on me and it's not lighten up so much the back. So let's change. <music> Right now we have the reflector on it. It's quite bright sun and yeah, it's like similar to this thing. It's a reflector inside a silver. So the light is really going strong out, hard light. You have one diffuser layer. It is strong. I say it again, this is one person. What you not have is the background is not lighting up so much, so which is good. And you see here the shadows are very strong. The no shadow, you have no soft light. So if I go 100%, I think it's a little bit overexposed. All right, let's go to the 65 centimeter softbox from Tripo. Tri Tripo? Tripo, I don't know. Um, it's a cheap one, it's 50 bucks. And let's see how this looks. And here we go. We have now the 65 centimeter softbox on it and it's not so bright anymore. Still a little bit bright, but I can't do anything because it's already on 1%. Mostly what I'm doing is going a little bit further or changing the ISO to go a little bit lower. The aperture is on 2.8 and the ISO is on 800. That's how it is right now. It's way softer the light here. I really like this setup. I mostly film like this, my tutorials, coaching sessions, whatever. This softbox is amazing. It's small, as I said, light, 65 centimeters. Let's see how the 95 centimeter Godox softbox looks like. This huge one. Here we go. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh my God. Pause. All right. Now we're back here with the 95 centimeter Godox softbox. So yeah, how do you like that? So I prefer this light definitely a little bit more, but the 65 centimeter softbox is what I would recommend because it's a smaller. The softbox is very portable, like you can fold them very quick. It's just 500, 600 gram plus the light. It's like super low light, super lightweight. <laughs> this way so tell me what do you think like would you choose the bigger 65 the 95 or would you just use the small light um i don't have a lantern if you have a lantern it's similar to the umbrella it's lighting up the whole back of the room so this right now i will show you my face looking left right so you have the no shadow it's very softened because in these soft boxes are two layers which diffuses the light much more so you get not these cut shadows you get very softened shadows so that's basically it um hope you liked this video that was a little bit freestyle because i want to show you what i'm packing right now because i'm traveling to indonesia because now i have all these soft boxes i can show you the difference between the umbrella this reflector or i would recommend a choose for the traveling the 65 centimeter softbox which was from amazon i will also link all the links down below so yeah that's all i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe because it helps me to create more videos and i want to come more on this channel i'm building right now my online course as well which is efficiency content creator academy check the link go on the waiting list i want to create first a concert photography video course and then there are coming more advanced videos um how you can travel low light and work efficient and everything so but yeah that's another chapter see you in the next video bye for now <laughs>